Hello everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you how to import grades from uh, Google Classroom to uh, PowerSchool. Uh, in trying to figure out how to do this, I've discovered there are three different ways. The first way is manually, and you just copy over uh, one grade at a time. So, for example, uh, Nathan Ambudis, uh 25 points. So you just put 25 points right there. Next student, Sean Allen, 25 points. And you just give Sean Allen 25 points. So that's the first way. Uh, very time consuming. Um, just one grade at a time. Um, the second way that I've discovered uh, is with uh, comma separated values. So you click on, you go to uh, Google Classroom, put your uh, list in alphabetic order, click on the sprocket on the right hand side, download these grades as CSV, comma separated values. So when you click on that, you'll get this and here it's been alphabetized according to first name you don't want it by first name you want it by last name so it matches up with power school so you got to make sure you put it in alphabetical order oops there we go so there's nathan ambudis number one sean allen number two so now that's in order they're the last name first name and right here are the grades uh, now you go to Power School, and you click on the sprocket on the right-hand side, and now you get to download the export scores template. Because what you're going to do is you're going to open this template, and you're going to copy and paste the grades from uh, Google Classroom onto the template, save the template, and then you're going to import the template here. So let me show you how that, that works. So when you click Export, scores template you'll get you'll get uh this right here and when you get it when it opens up it's all scrunched together and it's kind of hard to see but right here are the student numbers right here are the student names and then right here are the scores so i'm gonna just move this over so that it's easier to read and so right the scores go right here so you take your scores from here, you select, you copy, and then you paste. And you got to make sure the names on this list match with the names on this list. Uh, so, so that you, you, uh, you won't have any mix-ups. So once you... Uh, put the, the scores in. You're going to want to save, file, save as. And then to keep things organized, I went ahead and I created a folder on my desktop and I called it CSV grades, uh, comma separated value grades. So I know where to look. So, um, you don't have to waste time looking for for the file. You'll know exactly where it's at. It, it pays to be organized. So you click Save, and it saves your, your file in the folder that you want. Go back to uh, PowerSchool. Click on the sprocket. Now you want to import scores. Choose uh, Browse Files. To choose your file, you want to click Browse Files. Click on your desktop. I went to CSV grades. There's my file. Click open. Click next. And then here are my scores down here. This is nothing. Don't worry about that. Click import. And voila, your grades are, are imported. Click save grades. And uh, that's how you uh, import your grades from Google Classroom to PowerSchool 
using comma separate values. The third way, um, which is faster, a lot more convenient, is this. I'll show you right now. Now let's go and do another assignment. I'm going to do uh, Friday 821 pop quiz. You can go to Google Classroom. Friday 821 pop quiz. I'm going to click on last name. So now it's sorted by last name. You want to click here because uh, I, I discovered an extension that will do it all automatically for you. And that extension, Google Classroom or Google Chrome, Google Docs extension is called uh, Grade Transferer. And it's free for seven days. After that, I think it's $1.99 a month. Um, but it's pretty cool. So once you've clicked on the where you want to start right here, you uh, click on Great Transfer. You click Grab Data. Click OK. And now it grabbed 38 uh, files. And you wait for that green check mark. I like to hold on to my data until I delete it because if it messes up, I can continue. I don't have to go through the entire process again. So now I'm holding on to 38 grades here. I go to Power Teacher Pro, click on the first student, click on Grade Transfer, and I click Fill Data. Wait for that green check mark, click Fill, say OK. And it just starts importing all the grades automatically. Kind of faster, easier, and um, only drawback, it's uh, $1.99 a month after the seven-day trial. Then you save, and then you make sure you uh, Come back, you hit the trash can to clear your data. And then you go to the next assignment, you go to the next file and do the process over. So those are the three ways I've discovered on how to transfer grades from Google Classroom to, uh, to PowerSchool. Thank you for watching. I'll, I'll leave the link to the extension uh, grade transfer in the description of this video. Thank you. Bye.